Thank you to the gentlelady from Indiana for uh, providing me a few minutes to speak on this, uh, this rule. The rule that I rise in support of, Governing House Joint Resolution 88. This joint resolution, which is proposed today, disapproves of the final rule submitted by the Department of Education relating to the income-driven repayment scheme devised by the Biden administration. Now, this scheme is bad on a number of levels, but it is disastrous because it's disastrous for not just the student borrower, but it's also disastrous for the educational institution beneficiary and the general taxpayer, all three. These types of plans drive up the cost of higher education because neither the school nor the student borrower has any incentive to make market-driven decisions about education. The total cost of tuition and fees goes up as a result. The use of scarcity of resources, seemingly in this case, is ignored because there appears to be no end of resources, but we know that's not true. The value of the education provided goes down. The return on the investment is completely disregarded because the student borrower has no incentive to determine whether or not the amount borrowed has any relative relativity to and correlation to the amount that he's gonna, he or she's going to be able to make on the backside of their education. And so they borrow whatever they want to borrow. And schools continue to rise tuition and fees because they know the students won't have to pay it back. They can borrow it from the federal government and the taxpayer generally will pay that bill on their behalf. The second thing that this new proposed rule by the Biden administration does is it redistributes wealth through the education department. That's effectively what it does when it says, oh, you the borrower, you don't have to repay your debt. Everybody else in society will repay that debt. We simply cannot let this stand. We cannot let this rule proposed by the Department of Education stand, and I support the joint resolution 88 and its underlying rule that will disregard this rule, will un unravel it, and will say to the Biden administration, no more. We stand for the taxpayers. I yield back.